Nereida Sirena with Celestia Soul Wellness and thank you for watching. Today we're talking about the new moon in Sagittarius at 10.59 degrees, essentially 11 degrees Sagittarius. And it's a new moon. So time for new beginnings, time to expand. Sagittarius is all about going forth, of understanding the universe, on a quest to move ahead. Okay, it's also all about Sagittarius, it's about connection, connecting ourselves and how we are one with the universe, understanding the laws of the universe. So we're not so much only here planted on this earth, but what's going on out there, okay? Um, Sagittarius likes to seek the truth, but understanding that the truth is a matter of perspective, too. And so understanding those perspectives of where those truths are and how those perspectives are generally based on fear and not so much always on wisdom. One would like to have that wisdom, but it's the wisdom that makes us understand that those perspectives are based on fear. Also, too, is um, Sagittarius it really gives an unconditional compassion, loving light to the world, to the universe. It's always loving, 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 and that's really nice. You know, they really like to give of themselves. They're happy people. They even joke. They'll joke about themselves just to make you happy. And they try not to take uh, life too seriously because they know that there's something more. Okay? Understanding um, that um, with our perspectives and looking for truth, that these perspectives are based upon our surroundings, our education and our experiences and also our family and upbringing. So understanding that we create our, inst our instinctual behavior is created based on these perspectives and these influences, okay? So a lot of times some people will have these um, limiting uh, beliefs that affect and hinder their self-confidence and their, their deserving and affect their limits and boundaries because of these um, influences from the past of their surroundings, family, and education. And so then they do not go out, you know, and, and really conquer and, and try and go out towards their needs and wants and desires and fulfill them, okay? With Sagittarius uh, New Moon, it's a time to heal our wounds, okay? And um, with uh, healing those wounds, I'll talk a little bit later about how you can use yoga and meditation for that because Sagittarius is about our pineal gland, our third eye, our uh, right, and our brow chakra. So um, we are healing those wounds that came up with the Scorpio eclipse, uh, eclipse last month. And um, there was a lot of depth, a lot of things came out, and they're still coming out because remember, eclipses don't just happen one day. You can still feel the effects even up to, you know, three months after, right? So those are things uh, we need to remember that with Sagittarius, it's time to heal and nurture the soul. soul. <laughs> okay, so dream big, expand your wisdom and consciousness, and let go of limiting fears and beliefs, and embrace, embrace soul healing, okay? Sagittarius also rules travel. Okay, they always want to know about different cultures and higher learning, metaphysics, the esoteric world, okay, and the laws of the universe, which is a much higher law than the laws of the government and of this world. Because remember, it is humans that created those laws. Humans, you know, err, they make uh, wrong decisions. So, understanding all that, it's the laws of the universe that are always in existence and never change just expanding okay so these laws are higher than institutional and conventional and governmental laws and understand that so this is a really time for healing okay so now we're gonna go into um, exactly what is going on all right since we dealt with the philosophical okay and what's going on is right now with this uh, new moon we have Pluto that is squaring uh, the new moon I mean, sorry, uh, Uranus, Pluto squaring Uranus, so there's a lot of challenges. Sudden things are happening, and it's all about bringing all those issues up to surface, because remember, Pluto's about uh, all those issues, okay? Remember, it rules Scorpio, so it's coming all out, all out, and it could be sudden. Something might happen that just, you know, didn't realize we had that. So if you get a chance, you know, see someone to, to release those um, issues, see a light worker, energy healer, myself, 
okay and we work on those also remember that uh, Chiron the wounded healer asteroid is squaring the moon too so it's really wanting to heal this is a time of really good heal remember we have entered the fifth dimension already a year, almost a year ago and so a lot of uh, people are still behind they have an enter and it's a little bit uh, frustrating for them okay and in fact they're getting more weight because they just don't want change because they fear it instead of embracing the change and, and showing that compassionate loving universal light to everyone so these are things that you need to think about travel higher education um, meditation go uh, when you meditate remember this is the time for um, uh, make getting in touch with mother Gaia with nature hug a tree walk barefoot on the on the grass really get in touch because um, Sagittarius loves nature and animals love a horse dogs okay our four-legged friends you know there are spirit guides they're there with us the whole time also to remember that uh, with the Sagittarius what's going on is um, uh, in the beginning here those born um, the effects for December 3rd and 4th those born around January 25th March 10th and 11th April 25th June 11th July 28th September 13th and October 28th December 12th there's going to be a lot of spiritual uh, spiritual experiences during this time for you and if you're not sure but you know your degrees those people who are going through anything um, their ascendant their son Okay, natal planets at 3 degrees Aquarius, 18 degrees Pisces, 3 degrees Taurus, 18 degrees uh, Gemini, 3 degrees Leo, or 18 degrees uh, Virgo, 3 degrees Scorpio, or 18 degrees Sagittarius. Okay, again, we have other things going on too. Or there are some people experience sorrow, all right? And um, beware of gossiping, beware it's best not to travel at this moment because of that. Wait till you know the moon of void has uh, gone but because Sagittarius likes to talk a lot of people will misinterpret it they just want to have a good time encourage a conversation and friendly environment someone might take it personally the person who's taking it personally really needs to get over it let go and realize they're human and just have a good time okay don't impose your fears and your issues on others the number one thing is those are our issues we deal with our issues we don't impose it upon others that is wrong it really is okay so again now we're gonna go on to December 4th there's a lot of time of the uh, fifth uh, fortunate uh, developments okay time people want to start their new businesses and expand especially anybody you know um, who is in a um, in a fire sign and especially around the 28th of Leo, 13th uh, Libra, 28th Scorpio, 13th Cancer, and 28th Taurus, 13th Aries, and 28th Aquarius, and 13th uh, Capricorn. Those are people with those degrees, you know. So this is time to expand. Also around December 6th, we're going to uh, understand that Mercury is now entering, okay, and is going to square off um, Neptune. And... Um, in Pisces there so we're gonna have some tension there there's confusion Neptune always brings illusions and clouds so we're not seeing things so the communication might be off for those couple of days also to December 7th we have uh, Mars entering uh, Libra now usually uh, Mars is only in a sign for about six months I mean six weeks six weeks but now it's gonna actually be there for almost seven months so and this is usually a time when Mars wants to go and think about itself remember it rules Aries and Scorpio so it wants to go ahead be the warrior but being in Libra now it's in its detriment it is asking for co cooperation okay so it's trying to really get its own plan going yet be cooperative be a team player and um, you are really gonna have to focus on that time to see what's going on you know and each sign it's gonna happen differently also to know that um, some uh, people especially the fire signs might feel a little victimized especially the Aries because they're like oh I can't move ahead you know and it's not that it's time to cooperate we have an expression in Spanish blanco mania so everything you do have it with ulterior motives of helping others too so in fact like if I don't want to cook tonight and um, I decide to tell my son hey you know I don't want to cook I decide to say let's go get 
you know, your favorite meal, then it makes everybody happy. I get my agenda done, he gets his agenda done, we cooperative, we move ahead. Okay, so those are the kind of ideas you want. So moving right along, also know that around December 9th is a golden triangle, great opportunities because we have Jupiter that's tr okay, that's trying here, Saturn with the moon all in, uh, and um, they are uh, all in water signs and so it's going to bring some stability in your partnerships okay even for those who are uh, in um, Cancer, Scorpio or um, uh, uh, okay the water signs Pisces you're going to have more stability and romance coming in so that's going to be really good going December 12th okay this is, uh, we're still going in uh, for the partnerships and agreements, a very good time to sign contracts, okay? Very good time to sign any contracts, agreements, uh, go into anything that's very um, uh, fixed in any kind of business or romantic uh, uh, partnerships. Remember, a marriage is a business because one doesn't uh, enter a marriage unless they're trying to get a home or raise children together, otherwise which means consolidating your finances and bringing it together forth otherwise you can live on your own and do that have children you know so it is a business and so those things too must be considered home improvements good time for home improvements all right and um, change of residence so that's very good let's continue on to December 13th and 14th this uh, could be very stressful um, we have some traveling going on and um, understand that because of the way the the planets are going remember the beginning of December is going to be much lighter much happier than the last two weeks of December so that's something to consider again December 12th and uh, through the 21st it could be because of the way everything is um, stationed we might have some uh, rain floods inundations so depend in different parts of the world December 21st around there we are also having um, and the sun is um, going right there with uh, in Capricorn, and we have Venus is stationing and going retrograde. You never want to do surgery during uh, Venus retrograde, okay? Especially something new like plastic surgery or change a hairstyle or change something completely, okay? Because it's usually a decision we are not good with. And Venus is going to be stationed in, uh, um, I mean, retrograde and uh, Capricorn until the end of January so hold off so if you're gonna do anything do it now otherwise hold off after the um, uh, December 21st so you got a month and a week okay um, during that time love cools off people have more focus on business and money and being more conventional which is unfortunate because we have the holidays coming up so people might seem a little bit more cold or like oh no a little bit more standoffish don't take it personal Remember that in February, in the beginning of the uh, February, get back in touch and reconnect, okay? So, also know that there is, um, be careful during December 25th all the way to January 5th because of uh, what's going on with Mars and um, Uranus. We have a um, uh, opposite going, so there's going to be feelings of immortality, a lot of drinking, but people are going to be haphazardly with their motions and movements and actions and decisions. So there can be a lot of accidents during that time, not just because of the holidays, but also because of what's going on with the planets. And understand that, please. So a lot of alcoholism is going to uh, be going on. People are moving, twisting too quickly. Be careful with your metals. Okay, when I mean that, knife, scissors, and things like that, and driving, okay? Um, and so, this is also time when we see earthquakes happening because of uh, the way the planets are stationed, okay? And um, also know that uh, during uh, December 31st, there's going to probably a lot of people are going to be getting together more for business than with family because they want to take care of deal deals what's going on and um, things are becoming into light all during this month remember still we have the effects of the eclipse in Scorpio so new information is coming to light who people really are what are their true agendas okay are they being 
uh, selfish or are they being unselfishly selfish okay and that is very important so um, do know that December 17th we have a full moon and uh, 25 degrees Gemini and we'll talk more about that so I wish you wish you lots of love lots of healing light unconditional love remember this is Nereida Sirena with Celestial Soul Wellness and thank you for watching contact me if you would like an astrology reading if you would like an energy he uh, healing and um, just for some lovings you take care and thank you hi this is Nereida Sirena with Celestial Soul Wellness and this is part two of uh, December's new moon uh, video. Now in this uh, new moon video what we're going to talk about a little bit is our chakras. We talked about the stones uh, to really help out. Um, Sagittarius is all about the pineal gland, our third eye. Our third eye is really what ke gets us connected uh, with our intuition. A lot of people say, oh I have a gut feeling. That's usually based upon fear. Our intuition is when we just know and see okay and there's no fear behind it it just is and it's the way of the universe and to open that up a lot of times some um, people have it closed you can massage that pineal gland and you massage it tap it every so often tap right underneath your nose and those of you who don't know what I mean by tapping um, EFT and TFT okay is uh, tapping and what that is is when we go in and uh, we use shortcuts okay acupressure points for the meridians and um, those uh, acupressure points run along the meridians okay that run through our body and um, when we tap on those acupressure points certain main ones okay they stimulate certain parts of our body mind and spirit faster okay than us just meditating so a lot of times uh, you see that when they go here you massage that area okay most people's pineal glands are the size of the pea but they can get very very big in fact that's why they talk about how the Egyptians have their head in the olden times you see Nefertiti you know huge like that because their pineal gland was so huge okay so another way to um, activate your pineal gland is remember to breathe in deeply take in the oxygen Breathe it in, expand your heart chakra, your shoulders. If you're sitting like this, it's not going to happen. So when you breathe in, you bring it into your stomach, expand, make sure the air goes up and make it go back down. The Merkaba breathing all the way down your spine and then back up and release. Breathe in for five. Hold for five. And release for five. And do that about ten times, okay? To really get yourself going, release, get yourself grounded again, okay? Some of the stones that we wear during this time to help activate that is the lapis lazul, all right? And uh, amethyst. And some of the oils, those of you into aromatherapy and aroma healing, is going to be um, a violet and a rose geranium, okay? And so you could just massage it here. Now, also, too, during this time when you do your meditation, this is a good time uh, to meditate for Mother Gaia because we have um, certain planetary alignments going on that might, uh, that's going to cause uh, floods and earthquakes. This is a time we need to give to Mother Gaia give a lot of lovings to Mother Gaia. So um, one of the meditations I have here is, uh, you know, take yourself next to a tree, you know, really get in touch with that tree. Remember, trees are not jealous, so you can have many tree boyfriend and girlfriends, you know, to ground you and hug and just love. And during that time, just give love to Mother Gaia, give love to the earth, because it absorbs so much negative energy from the pollutants, from our perspectives and the personal energy, besides what goes on. And so it needs to erupt somehow, and that's what happens when we have all these major weather. But it needs to happen too, because it cleanses out things and brings in new. So um, there's a wonderful meditation uh, from the Hindi. It's Om Mane Padme Um Om 
Mane Padme Um, make sure you have your mudras. Oh Mane Padme Um, oh Mane Padme Um, oh Mane Padme Um, oh Mane Padme Um. And when you do those meditations, you want a trembling, a vibration going on, because it creates a higher frequency. Always, too, you want to make sure that your tongue, the tip of your tongue, is hitting the top of the roof. It op uh, helps open up the pineal gland, all right? And you do it about 108 times. 108 is a very magical number um, in the meditation. We'll go over that in the future. But the, that is something that's very good. And during that time, focus on allowing stillness and silence into your life, into your soul. So when you do that, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum, Om Mani Padme Hum. And at that time also, ask for your, uh, from your divine inner wisdom and your and divine inner soul for guidance, for where you need to go forth and for those questions, okay, that you are not sure about, for your true path in life, and giving love simultaneously to Mother Gaia and nature, you know, that's all part of one. Remember, we, uh, we were made in the image of God. Everything together is God, not just me individually, not just the paper in front of me individually, not just the stones, not just you, not just the nose or the tree, but everything together is one in the image of our divine creator, of our, our major light source, okay? And uh, to bring that and, and be one with everything is very essential to keep that high frequency that continues us to the fifth dimension, okay? Also remember, too, that um, this is a time of enlightenment. The 11 degrees Sabian of Sagittarius is, is enlightenment, is bringing things to light, the truth, and what is the truth? And what are you going to do with it? Sometimes we don't need to know something because it doesn't really pertain to us. And, you know, what are we going to do? So sometimes people gossip, but then we're like, and if it's creating negativity, don't bring it up. Okay? If you're going to complain, expect a resolution. If not, then don't bring it up because you, by complaining, you are giving negativity to other people, okay? Remember, if you're complaining about the same situation after three times, that's self-abuse, all right? That means you do not really want things to get better. You actually are asking for that pain, okay? And if you're not sure what to do and you're confused about that, that's when you come see a light worker, energy worker, you know? Uh, healer like myself and we've discussed that for life coaching and understanding of what is going on deep down inside of you that is being driven by your subconscious okay that you're not even aware of so these are things that I want to thank you for for sharing with me remember too that uh, during your meditation some good uh, great uh, yoga poses is for the eagle the cobra headstand and child pose okay and that helps also activate and bring a lot of oxygen to your pineal gland okay and so sometimes when you see healers and you know light workers when we do this or this or we're going tapping okay we're tapping we're opening up and activating that pineal gland okay so again thank you this is Nereida Sirena with Celestial Soul Wellness Soul and Body Needs by me and thank you for watching. You are welcome to visit my website. Look down below and uh, give me a holler. And have a wonderful, wonderful holidays.